It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Kingdom of Spain series in the Kaiserreich mod. And we are churning through Africa as well as we're planning our further invasion into the Central Latin American nations. Former Latin American nations. Let's go. Well, it will be formed when we're done anyway. Hang on a second. Oh, we need access through you, right? Hang on, no? Can attack the enemy from a neutral territory. This is the Kingdom of Canada, and we have access, right? I'm a little bit confused. Do I have to do an amphibious landing? I think I might do. But that's okay, it's not the end of the world anyway. Because this is actually probably going to be beneficial to me. Yeah, this is going to be good in the long run, because this will give, uh, give me access to this territory. No, it's uh, it's a minor bump in the road, so that's okay. At this point, I'm not going to research anything extra. It's kind of a waste of time, so I'm not going to bother. Germans have got so many divisions, and they're all super dug into the jungles too, so this is going to be a freaking nightmare. I imagine there's probably going to be some late game strategy in this game, where you can make mechanize, uh, get forts, engineers, max them out as quickly as soon as possible. And do some crazy strat where you, uh, I don't know, you play mega defensive. And I think that'll be really effective. I think the only thing you could count that is with, like, godlike breakthrough on tanks. Are they running away? Yep, they must have just arrived. They must have got strategically redeployed. Supply is good. Very good. So this is a bit of a grind, unfortunately. Uh, we are doing our best with air control, I think. They have got a lot of planes, actually. So at this point, maybe we want to migrate some of our other air wings. Split you and max you out a thousand. This is going to be a ridiculous amount of air superiority now. Max you out as well. You go, wow, okay. The AI seems to match the amount of planes that you bring. Interesting, I didn't know that. Oh, now they've, they've pulled them back, okay. We are going to grind them, but it's going to take a very long time. They've got a lot of planes. Between 1,000 and 15,000. My god, those rare estimates are a little bit off, guys. The intelligence department will be fired. I'm going to exercise you too. Some of these greens are annoying me. Holding the uh, coastline, which is good. Yeah, that's fine. So, the game's spinning up right now, and I think it's because there's not as many front lines and whatnot. So you've got the Persian-German front, which is a weird little wonky thing. We've got the Indian-Russian front. Uh, we also have kind of a Japan Sphere Eastern versus the Russians, but then they've got the thorn in the side of Ching, is it pronounced? Ching, I think? I think they're at war with Japan, aren't they? And they've never managed to eliminate them. If I was playing as Japan, I'd focus all my power on Ching. Yeah, you want to get rid of them as soon as you possible, because they're just a massive, massive, massive thorn in your side. Is this... I feel like I want to run into these guys. Because if we close this off, then we've got a pocket in the Sahara. It doesn't look like there's a lot of divisions in the southern areas. They're all locked into the north. What flag is this? I'm not sure what that flag is. There we go. We did it, boys. And that's it. Done. Minor supply issue, but that's all good. Just close the pocket. In fact, you guys go right as well. There you go. Okay, capitulation on Germany. Just under halfway. Alright, we're doing good. Oh, Germany has control. Oh, well, they did have control of that. It's gone now. Probably don't want to send everyone, but... 1.3% per day. Oh, 
I was just saying before I didn't want to do that, but I ended up doing it anyway. Oh, well, there you go. The hypocrisy. All right, so we're going to drop a few of these because we've got excess production that's doing nothing, so... Might as well. We're making a future... Nuclear... France. Where are low supplies? Where? Damn, that pocket closed so quickly. Whoa, 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 where are you guys going? Alright, we need to delete that because they seem to foolishly want to go there. Please stop. Alright, boys, can we... Okay, these are British divisions. They're not too bad either. Full strength too. Don't want them. So it seems to me that when you go from puppet to integrated puppet, the integrated puppets want to constantly keep sending you divisions, don't they? They like throw divisions at you. It must be something in the code of the game, like the Dutch East Indies and uh, uh, British Malaya seem to do that as well in normal games as well. It must be something to do with like just trying to whatever, whatever possible help out their allies as such. We're still behind the behind on moderns. What we could do is just fling those to the top. Modern, modern. I think we're good. It's going to take probably a year to get back to normal levels, though. Yep. So in that case, we'll do that. There we go. 84 days. It's a lot better. Alright, those ballsy right click moves, boys. Yet again, even when we've got all everything stacked on us, we're still struggling to make gains. Uh, Prussia, integrated puppet. Do I really want to? There you go. There's nowhere we can get any more chromium too. We've literally maxed the chromium out. Producing no destroyers either because of the max. We're leeching all the chromium from the world. We've lost a few tank divisions as well. We've got 19. We had more than that to begin with, didn't we? I think there's an issue in this game sometimes. Well, it's not an issue. It's, it's, a, it's a player's fault. But when you tw switch out templates, sometimes the strength drops really low. And sometimes if you're in combat and the strength drops low as well, you can have a chance you might lose those divisions completely. Okay, where's my escorts? There we go. And you guys can go. Oh wow, all 24. Okay, I was going to re remove some of the divisions, but there's no point now. Okay. Here we go, boys. This is it. And there's a lot of divisions there. Let's be real right now. Even if I had air support and shore bombardment, I don't think I could break that. Hmm. That is a pain. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Yeah, that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Then again, we don't have any shore bombardment. We've lost all our cruisers. We have one light cruiser. And I don't think light cruisers even have shore bombardment, do they? No, they don't. Okay, that's, that's out of the question then. You like air bases? We'll give you air bases.
Look how many divisions they got here. Three. Okay, let's stop for a moment. Supply is good. Stop. Uh, here, and here, and here. Good, good, good. Ah, the high command, the military stuff that we will never use because it doesn't seem to... They're really cool that they do really cool special stuff, but in Kaiserite, you kind of focus on other things. Uh, division attack, division speed, motorized, soft attack. That sounds awesome. Let's go for that guy. That guy is a god. Okay, are we going to do the same thing again? Bulgaria has took 29 states. The British Turkish state has been annexed. There you go, guys. The glory to Bulgaria. Revenge on the Turks. We're actually landing on a mountain. Oh, it's, oh, it's planes. What? It looks like mountains, but it's planes. Okay. This should be easy. Should be easy. And it's not. Okay, uh, let's think about this for a second. Could we go for Marines? It feels like such a last second change, but we could go for Marines. The Russian Empire has declared war on the Essamite Arabia. Okay. He wanted to find some more friends, right? He found another friend. Alright, we're done. We could also research rocket artillery. Something that we should have probably done a long time ago. I'm not really sure what we're going to do there, you know. They've got 15 divisions now. Like, where are all these divisions going? Alright, we're going to rely on our overwhelmingly good buddies to kind of help us out here. Yeah, we're going to rely on our sweet good buddies, our allies here, to kind of hold the front line while we make an assault elsewhere. I'm not going to push any further here. Maybe we could go through here. That's actually a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. Such a weird... Front line. There we go. Railroad, everyone here. Still fighting a massive air war. 70 planes shot down, 15 lost. That's a definite win for us. Damn, look at these stats. Plus three air superiority. Three percent air superiority, three percent. Ten percent ace generation. Some of them are Ooh, ten percent air superiority? Fucking hell man, that guy's a god. Okay, so the plan is to do this. Four point six percent behind on mediums and moderns. Oh shit! Okay, we need to take off those tanks. That definitely made a massive difference. Having a bit of a supply issue, but that's fine. Go here, and you guys go here. Nuclear bombs. Currently don't have any reactors yet, but a bunch are about to finish. In fact, about 10 of them in one go. Okay, that's pretty smart of them to hold that. Oh my god, sitting on a... That's the... Oh, downfall of stability. Oh, it's because we just had the, the... What the columns, didn't we? Oh, shit. 
We're still getting bombings, guys. We have absolute control. We're having unconditional victories left, right, and center around the world. But yeah, yeah, we're still having issues with fucking terrorist bombings. What the hell, boys? Okay, we're fanning out the front line. Supply is better now. They've locked us off here, which is a bit annoying. Okay. Oh my damn, I can't believe we can't break that. Okay, we've catched up with supplies, which is good. All equipment's up to date. Awesome. Okay. I want to try and uh, concentrate as many troops as possible on that pocket there. Actually, what we should do to get the maximum encirclement bonus is take that northern province as well. Oh, no more loss of stability. Excellent. And that was enough. That encirclement penalty is so brutal. Minus 30%. Oh, and there's... Oh, there's a level 7-4 here too. Okay. Is that going to be enough? Is this the end of Germany? Yes, it is. And we are done. We are done. So currently... We didn't have any points initially to do anything. Okay, so that's good. Alright, I think we're happy now. Well, I'm happy anyway. Um, just grabbing random bits of turf around the world, which I really don't care for. What will we be behind on again? We're behind on chromium, won't we? It's so rare that you need chromium. I don't even know where it is in the world. I know it's in Turkey. Isn't there some... In, the, in Africa too? And most of it's here, isn't it? Which South Africa already controls. So I don't really care for anything else. I guess we could take that. No, we can't take that. <laughs> okay, but for some reason, this only requires 12. What the hell? It's nothing. Okay, they've eaten all that up. The only thing that's left is Switzerland. And no one's going to take that, are they? So I'll take it. Oh! Right, guys, I don't want to upset you, but I've created a bit of border gore here. <laughs> so in regular Hearts of Iron 4, it's, it's a two-state. Switzerland is two states, but they've split it into four. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Oh my god, guys, tell me in the comments how triggered you are. What is this? <laughs> I clicked just assuming it was the same state. What the hell? Okay, all right, all right, okay, let's just go here. <laughs> that really threw me off guard, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> okay. So that we're making some, some sweet gains here. I'm, I'm pretty happy how this is going. All right, go there. These guys' ability to push is probably going to be severely limited um, due to the fact they've lost their tanks. But we're going to still going to go anyway. The Russian Empire has declared war on the Dabinian Federation. Oh! Okay, that's Austria. Okay. Which is a really stupid idea because they're very strong and they're not been touched by war. So they've probably got some insane equipment. Well, not probably not good equipment, but... Lots of it, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, Kingdom of Canada, inside of uh, 
Africa. Oh, getting some severe slowdown. This might require a restart of the game. Getting one of those like severe slowdowns and pauses. Usually it's usually happens at the start of wars and then it slows down. <gasps> oh, the Qing. So this is the collapse of the Eastern Front now. And that means that Russia is going to be in a very, very good state of affairs. 78% national unity. Okay, are we making any gains here? It's one of the beauties of patch 1.4 is now you can attack and defend at the same time. So none of this bullshit where the AI locks you into position and you can never move. Oh my god, that was so infuriating. Okay, we are going to end this episode here, guys. It is lagging really hard. I need to restart the client. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment below and also hit the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.